A critical premise for successfully leading change is to understand what role you're in with regard to the given change initiative or situation. In this course, we're going to focus on the role of the champion, that is the driver or owner of the change. The champion may not have been the initiator of the change, but they definitely are or should be a dedicated driving force moving the change forward and rallying others to the cause. It's important to realize that in many change situations, you may not be the champion. In some situations, you're being asked to implement a change that's in fact owned or championed by someone else or should be championed by them. That's an important distinction because they need to be inherently involved and lend their support and authority to the effort. In other change situations, you might be stuck in the swamp of change, meaning that the change is happening to you and all around you, but there's no clear destination, there's no vision, and therefore there is no specific consistent direction. In that situation, your goal is to maintain your own morale and survive and encourage the morale of others and help them survive as well until a way opens up to get out of the swamp. I address the role of implementing and surviving change in a separate course. In this course, we're going to focus on championing change, help you begin developing an effective change strategy to move your team or organization forward towards successfully implementing a desired or necessary change. First, we're going to help you establish a clear picture of who your stakeholders are, what power and influence they have in the system, and where they stand with regard to supporting or resisting the change you're trying to implement. Second, we're going to look at a change model called the Heart of Change from John Cotter at Harvard Business School. This model is widely regarded as a core foundation for successfully implementing large-scale change. We're going to be looking at the first three of his eight phases to help you get started with your change strategy. Third, I'll give you an overview of the book Switch from Chip and Dan Heath. They frame their change strategy around three areas. The logical, represented by the rider, the emotional, represented by the elephant, and the practical, represented by the path. It's a really engaging, useful, and thought-provoking model. So if you realize that you are the champion for a change, meaning that it's really up to you to keep things moving, take ownership, and drive the change forward, then I'm confident these tools and models will be useful to you in defining a successful change strategy. And if you're not the champion for a change, they can be very useful in helping you bring support to someone who is. On page three of the workbook, there are questions to prompt your thinking based on your own experiences. I guarantee you've already experienced a great deal of change, and you can learn a lot from those experiences. Whether it was a change you were not happy about, or something you were excited about but others weren't, or a change that was implemented really well and was truly successful.